Let's go to our first video. Elizabeth Warren uh, showed, uh, made, made the point to show the charlatanes that are the billionaires, the people that are living on the dole, the ones that are really living on the dole, are not those people getting food stamps or that little bit of money. It's the ones that are really pilfering us for billions. Billions. I want you to take a look at this and then we'll take it on the other side. Time Magazine has named Elon Musk Person of the Year, which is actually an insult to any number of people who should have been named Person of the Year to, because Elon Musk is, I mean, he's the worst. His company, Tesla's trillion dollar market value, well exceeds its revenue. It only reached its first full year of profitability last year, it has long relied on sales of emissions credits to keep its bottom line afloat and was nearly and was recently ordered to pay more than $100 million for a racist, hostile work environment. But this year, Musk leapfrogged the other billionaire space cadet, Amazon's Jeff Bezos, becoming the world's richest person. He's also opposed to the Democrats' Build Back Better bill that would help women and children and family. And he wants to get rid of all government subsidies, like the ones that helped him build his empire. But Musk isn't just the world's richest person. He's one of the most thin-skinned people on social media. And this week, he tried to come for Senator Elizabeth Warren, who tweeted, let's change the rigged tax code so that the person of the year will actually pay taxes and stop freeloading off everyone else. I mean, the senator is correct. This year, ProPublica got receipts. Its investigation found that in 2018, Musk paid nothing in federal income taxes and less than $70,000 in 2015 and 2017. Well, Elon wasn't happy, so he did what he always did and stomped his little feet and insulted Senator Warren, calling her an angry mom and referring to her as Senator Karen. So for so many reasons, being a freeloader, and a selfish and disrespectful one. And for misappropriating black vernacular for misogynistic purposes, Elon Musk is the absolute worst. Meanwhile, Senator Warren has better things to do than fight with Junior Birdman on Twitter. And in Boston Glo and in Boston Globe op-ed, Senator Warren called for expanding the Supreme Court by four or more seats, writing that the current court threatens the democratic foundations of our nation. Senator, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, well, let, let, me, let me first play Pramila Jayapal, because Congressman Pramila Jayapal and Congressman Sh and Senator Sherrod Brown, here was their thoughts on Elon Musk being person of the year. Take a look. Oh, oh, oh I'll, I'll tell you what they said. Uh, it says, it's time for Elon Musk to pay his fair share in taxes. Uh, Sherrod Brown said a billionaire who's been found guilty of illegal union busting by the National Labor Relations Board should probably not be Times Person of the Year. So those were their thoughts. I, I want to just give you an opportunity to respond to Elon Musk attacking you on social media. <laughs> yeah. The world's richest freeloader evidently has a very thin skin. But you know the part that really makes me angry about this? It's on behalf of every public school teacher, every waitress, every computer programmer, every street cleaner who actually paid taxes and that means they paid more than Elon Musk did in federal income taxes. And that's just not right. And it means the system is broken. I, I, along with many others, am trying to fix that. But the days when these guys not only get to rake it all in, but then rub everybody else's nose in it while they head off into outer space and declare <laughs> how they did this all on their own when they were subsidized by the federal government and subsidized by every waitress and by every public school teacher who paid their taxes. This is wrong. And Elon Musk needs to eat a big dish of that. He needs to probably use his big money and buy himself some self-esteem because apparently he gets sad when people say mean things about him being not paying taxes. Um, yeah, he gets mad because when you really go ahead and say, hey, Elon Musk, you are a freeloader, not because you have billions, not because you're the richest person in the world, mean much. What it means is that you stole it. And people say, well, how did you steal it? He worked for it. No, he didn't. You know, uh, th th that, w that America justifies legal theft using the financial sector doesn't make it any more moral or make it any more true on, or make, uh, that, that somehow he made it on his own. He made it from the work and worth of everybody else. Remember that. You know, for those who have this unfettered love for the rich person, for those who have unfettered love for those who have somehow used our economic system to get ahead, remember, there are so many people out there that they are so devoted to their craft. They're so devoted to engineering. They're so devoted to science. They're so devoted to social issues, helping people. They don't sit down and figure out, hey, I can turn capital gains 
by using the capital gains from doing X, Y, and Z, I can multiply my income at a faster rate than inflation. Or by creating a collar, a financial instrument, I can create structures that minimize my loss but maximize what I'm going to win because I can do that. I take my effort in figuring out the financial structures within a capitalist society to make a bunch of money. And then the others are out there saying, I just want to help people. I just want to create products. I just want to do all these great things to help people to forward science, to do all these things. And somehow we glorify those who use a a feature in a financial system, in an economic system, a fraudulent, a fraudulent economic system to get wealthy, and they're the ones that we somehow respect, that is how screwed up our educational system is that we don't know how to evaluate where worth is. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.